Good morning all. I am Poonam Swapnil Jadhav, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today we are going to see word embeddings, vector semantics under the natural language processing course. Word embedding are also known as vector semantics, other technique used in natural language processing and machine learning to represent words as numerical vectors in high dimensional space. The basic idea is to capture meaning relationship between words on their contextual usage in given text corpus. In simple terms, word embeddings are like a language representation where words are transformed into the numerical values. Bag of words. A bag of word is a simple and commonly used technique in natural language processing for representing the text data. In this approach, a document or a sentence is represented as a bag containing the individual words it contains without considering the order or structure of the words. Imagine you have a sentence, the cat chased the mouse to create a bag of words representation you would first identify all the unique words in sentence, like the cat chased mouse. Next, you create a vector, a list of numbers where each position in the vector corresponds to one of the unique word. In this case, the vector would be of length 4. The position in the vector represent a specific word and the value at that position indicates the frequency of that word in the sentence. So for example, the vector representation would be 2, 1, 1, 1 because the appears twice while cat, chased and mouse appear only once. The bag of words representation disregards the grammar, sentence structure and word order in a text. It only consider the presence or absence of words and their frequencies. This simplification makes it easier to process and analyze the test data using the machine learning algorithms. Now, PFIDF. PFIDF is term frequency inverse document frequency. It is a way to figure out which words are most important in a document. It does this by looking at how often a word appears in the document, term frequency, and how rare the word is across all the documents, inverse document frequency. Term frequency is a measure of how often a word shows up in a document compared to the total number of words in that document. If a word appears frequently in a document, it has a higher TF value and is considered more important for that document. Inverse document frequency, IDF, is a measure of how rare or unique a word is in collection of documents. If a word appears in only a few documents, it has a higher IDF value and is considered more valuable for distinguishing between documents. The formula for the term frequency is count of the terms in document upon number of words in the document. Formula for inverse document frequency is log n by document frequency plus 1. The formula for the TF-IDF is TF into IDF. Now word to vec. Word to vec is a popular technique in NLP used to represent words as numerical vectors capturing their meaning and relationship. It aims to learn these vectors representation by analyzing how words are used in a large amount of text data. Word to vec is like language mapping where words are transformed into numbers. Each word is assigned a vector which is a series of numbers and these vectors capture 
different aspects of the word's meaning and usage. For example, it might learn that the word dog and cat often appear in similar sentences and therefore their vector representation will be close to each other in the space. Similarly, it might find that the king and the queen are used in similar context, resulting in their vector being close together as well. Word to vec allows for mathematical operations on word vectors. For example, by adding or subtracting word vectors, we can explore the relationship like king is man plus woman is queen. These operations enable the model to make educated guesses and reason about the concept based on the learned vector representations. Now, Doc2Vec. Doc2Vec is extension of word-to-vec technique that aims to represent not only individual words but the entire document as numerical vector. It captures the overall meaning and context of the document in a similar way that word-to-vec captures the meaning of individual words. In simple terms, Doc2Vec is a language mapping that converts both words and whole document into numbers. Each document is assigned a vector which is a series of numbers capturing the overall theme and content of document. For example, if many documents about sports mention the word football, the vector representation of the word football will be close to the vector of those sports related documents. Similarly, if multiple documents discuss the scientific topics and mention the word experiment, the vector representation of experiment will be close to the vectors of those scientific documents. Doc2Vec enable us to represent new unseen documents in the same vector space. We can generate vector representation for documents that were not included in the training data, allowing us to make comparisons and perform or performance analysis on these new documents. I hope you all have understood properly the word embeddings. Thank you.